Now this one hurts. Uh, we battled uh, tonight. I'm really proud of my group. Uh, we really guarded well, uh, except to start the second half. They made some shots and we turned the ball over uh, during that stretch. But we never stopped. We missed two front end and one on ones. We missed some a couple layups during that stretch, but we never stopped playing and kind of snuck up on them at the end. We made back to back threes. Kevin made some threes. So we executed well with no timeouts. Um, you know, we just didn't handle the last 3.4 seconds the right way. I obviously didn't get my point across to the players of where they needed to catch the ball. You can't let them throw over your press and get going downhill. So this one obviously stings a little bit because we thought we had it. Go open up for questions, Don. Uh, Mark, you, 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 uh, you talked about not going over the press. Uh, what? Where, where did it break down? Was it just the initial pass or? Yeah, I mean, we were switching screens, and Anthony was supposed to switch out on that, and they threw over it. You know, you got to make them catch the ball going towards our basket, not towards their basket. And that was, you know, right when it got over his head, it was like, oh, no. And um, we were in a scramble. And, um, disappointing. Knew what they were going to run, but we still just didn't guard it. Wish I'd had a timeout. But i got to use my timeouts just to keep us in the games and keep us fresh. Um, and I was out of timeouts. That's why I was really impressed the way we executed at the end uh, with no timeouts to be able to do what we did. Coach, uh, you talked about this hurting and stinging, but would, do you think you'll look back at this stretch being short, so short-handed to get that kind of effort from your guys? Is that hard to see right now? But Yeah, losing stinks. Um, you know, we, we still think we're pretty good. We haven't played that well on the road. The last couple of games, we run into teams that played well. You know, this was good timing for us to come in and get one, obviously, on the road um, because they had a, a big game on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I'm proud of my group. You know, hopefully we can get healthy, um, get one more player back, um, and give us eight. Um, but. Um, you know, it's just so much on Kevin's plate and so much on Anthony's plate right now. It's, it's hard. And so, but, you know, guys like Tamai, she continue to get better. Made some defensive mistakes, but he set two really good screens late and rebounded and acted like he belonged. So there was, there was a lot of positives uh, in the game tonight, but losing losing's no fun. Coach, we have Roman in the back. Mark, I guess what happened defensively in the second half, you know, just giving up a lot of threes and, Seems like the rotations were. Yeah, no, they're impossible to guard. Let me let me say again, they're impossible to guard with Wagner. Our guys battled. We guarded our tails off. We did everything right. There, I mean, especially at home. You know, we kept them off the foul line. We 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 were terrific on defense. We weren't kind of good. We were terrific. And it's when you turn the ball over like we did and shot a couple quick shots, and start second half. That was really the difference. But for the most part, last ten minutes we didn't turn it over. We were able to get our defense set, made them make tough shots. We guarded the ball well, put our big guys in some tough situations. We put our guards in some tough situations. It's the only way to guard these cats with, with, with the big fella out there that can shoot it and drive it. And um, I thought we had a good game plan. I really did. I um, thought we really did a great job tonight defensively. Coach, we got two more questions, Kyle and then Don. Kyle. Coach, I know you talked about Anthony's defense in that last possession. I guess... You know, when, no. when, when you kind of got that lane there, do you, do you want Bruno to kind of foul him there? Or do you no. To Don't blame him? Anthony. Blame me. I, 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 I said that wrong, okay? We just, I didn't get my point across to my players. We don't want them catching the ball going downhill. We want them catching the ball in front of us. And it, you know, I just didn't do a very good job. So let's, let's please don't take Anthony's name out of that. Put mine in it. Uh, Don, last question, please. Mark, talk about the night Kevin had, uh, just in terms of he, he struggled so much, and then yeah. he, I mean, he, he looked so out of sorts for, for, for different him. stretches, and then he was able to hit the two shots. Again. Well, he's got two hands on him the entire game. Not not one hand. He's got two hands on him the entire game. So it's exhausting. We got two guys that can score, and teams are just loading up on him. Okay, we got to trust our teammates a little bit more uh, with it, but. He had a little cramp in his calf, got need there. I got to figure out how to get better without practicing those two guys. But we only had 10 guys for practice this week, three of them were walk on. So I got to figure out how to keep those guys fresh for game night. And But he showed you, you know, he's got, he's got big, um, you know,
Andre stepped up when he had to make two big-time shots for us.